Today, Andrew borrows 200,000 Rand from a bank. The bank charges interest at that. Andrew will make repayments of 6,000 Rand at the end of every three months. His first payment will be made then. How long will it take to settle the loan? Okay, so this is a grade 12 financial maths question. Um, this 200,000, is that money that Andrew will have today or in the future? Today. So we're going to use the present value formula. Oh no, this is just a single bracket. So the amount that he wants to borrow is 200,000. So we'll put that in the place of P. The payment is 6,000. So we'll put that in over there. The interest is 5.25%. Now they said it's compounded quarterly. So we'll put a four over here. And then for the number of payments, remember it's always a negative in this formula. Now, because this is a four, we're gonna put a four over here and then we need to get the number of years. But let's first talk about something. We, because a lot of learners, they're gonna look at this here and they're gonna think, oh, he made, he, he misses two payments. But remember, when you are compounding, let's quickly talk about your first payment. If you're compounding monthly, then when should you make your first payment? After? one month. If, however, you are compounding quarterly, then you make your first payment after, not four months, it's three months, because there are four quarters in a year, but that means every three months, three, six, nine, twelve. So you are only supposed to make your first payment after three months, or in three months, um, we could say here in one month and in three months, and that is exactly what Andrew did. So everything in this question is perfect. So we can simply say four multiplied by the number of years, which is X. We don't need to subtract any payments or add any payments because he is following the standard scenario for qu quarterly compounding. Okay, now the way that we're gonna solve this is we're definitely gonna have to use logs. So because of that, I don't want you to round off because logs are very sensitive to rounding off. So we're gonna take this part and we're gonna multiply it up and we're gonna bring this part to the bottom. So that's gonna end up giving us um, 200,000 multiplied by 0 0.0525 over four. And then at the bottom, we're gonna have 6,000. Then on the right-hand side, Let's quickly go type this on the calculator, and that'll give you 1621 over 1600 to the power of negative 4x. We can keep it in a bracket like that. Okay, then you can also type this on the calculator. So if you go type that on the calculator, keep it, um, keep it as a fraction, so that'll be seven over 16. So let's actually write that over here. And then 1 minus 1621 over 1600 to the power of negative 4x. Okay, now, because this is negative, let's take it over to the left, and then we'll bring this over to the right. So we would end up with that, and then that. And then this I'm quickly just going to type on my calculator, and if you do that, you would end up with 9 over 16. And now we can use logs. So the thing we're looking for is negative 4x, then you say log, then you're gonna put the base, 1621 over 1600, and then this part of here, nine over 16. So you can go ahead now and type all of that on your calculator. And so you should end up with negative 44.1243. We can round off now because we finished with logs. Then to get X alone, you just divide everything by negative four, and that should give us 11.03 years.